welcome, welcome. Okay, welcome. We're back on the controller today. Now, I thought I'd admit when I took it apart, it never worked again. On it, and I lied because I wanted to make a lot of money from my YouTube videos. Although I, I've not been able to figure out to add advertisements yet, so uh, there's, there's that. And what we're going to do today is I want to create a mount for it. So I figure if I'm driving along in some desert location or if I'm on my motorcycle, I know it, you can just tell it to follow you and trust it and put the controller in your backpack or somewhere safe but I don't really want to do that I still want to have it handy I want, I want to be able to mount this thing with the screen on and be able to control the vehicle I'm in and also have the thing there in front of me in case I, I want to take control of it straight away which might just mean pushing it up now something I was thinking of is the USB plug that I never use. I trimmed this off, this is one with quite a lot of tough structure around it. I think it's supporting it by the USB plug. Now that stinks is a bad idea, you would think, and it is a bad idea. But what we're going to do is, but all I'm going to use the USB plug for basically is to stop it sliding away like that. So it's got really good tension value. And I'm going to support it on this face and try and support it against this edge as well and uh, that'll stop it if it rocks it'll take it on the support and it'll be supported on here and uh, uh, shit's falling over and then hopefully we'll be able to just put it onto something like this stick it down to something or anything with the I think it's a six mil quarter inch screw on it throw ideas out and try stuff and see how strong it looks and how good it works so this is going to be exactly the same Basically this stuff, it's, you can buy it on Amazon if you want to get it from local suppliers generally. It's basically polycarbonate or it's Lexan, it? you can cut it really easy, it's not, it, it doesn't, it's not sharp like metal, you can easily just trim it down the edges once you've cut it so it's really nice smooth, put like a chamfer on it, it's really nice, you can paint it quite easily, primer it, paint it, it is it's quite structural, structurally sound, it's really really strong, especially if you put a few layers together. I think you can even slice it and just snap it over an edge. I look on YouTube for that, I really don't know. So I hope you can see that, okay. And what I do is I generally cut it quite rough and then just go around it with a, with a knife. And it's dead easy to clean up like that. It just puts a little chamfer on it and takes the edge off. So my plan is, basically, is to have this stacked up. Like so. And have the USB on there. And that will push against the controller so there's no rotation allowed on the actual plug because you don't want the plug to take any load. All the plugs can do is stop it coming off. And I'm also going to use uh, sticky, I've got this super sticky cloth, it's like a uh, draw line review, but it's quite thick and it's really sticky. So I'm going to layer that in there. So when I feed that guy in, it's just really going to hold it in place. Hopefully, hopefully. So we'll hot glue this. And then I'll show you the main uh, mounting screw that's really, really easy to do. Okay, we've botched this together with glue, as I said, this is a prototype. So I did the I did these two together and I trimmed them a little bit to make sure they were look the same, pretty much really botched job. Then I put the USB in the controller and I glued the back of it in situ so I'd get exactly the right angle and the offset is perfect. So actually in the controller now, and it sits in there. That's what I wanted, there's zero rotation because it's being supported by the, the support rather than the USB itself. So all the USB is actually starting to do. There's a little bit of wobble in that in that direction, but it's because there's a bit more space here. We're going to put that material on now, so that'll solve that. And all the USB is really doing is stopping it falling, sliding side to side and stopping it coming out. See that retainer there, it's quite hard to pull away. Obviously it doesn't work closed. But I could trim it down, it would just make it a little bit weaker. So we'll put the material on. Okay, we've got the material stuck on there. Let's we'll see what this material's like. It might be a little bit too, uh, might be a little bit too thick, but we'll see. We can just push down and, uh, oh no, it's good, it's good. That's a really good fit. That's a really nice fit. So we'll scratch the bottom of it or anything. And it's really just not very well. Go test. <laughs> Definitely stuck on there. The really thing is, is how it how does it support it? It doesn't damage the USB as it put. I might put some extra an extra layer of polycarbonate on the side of it so it reinforces how that 
support and also supports against the uh, so what you do is you take a regular screw, so this is a 6mm screw, of a, a 6mm screw or a quarter inch, I guess, thread. And uh, if you drill drill this smaller, uh, basically just the size of the, of the shaft of this screw, then you'll be able to screw this in there and create your own thread. And probably should have done it before I put this on. Okay, so I pulled it off. I went to drill the hole. So I drilled the hole in there. Uh, it was 1364, I think, which fits pretty well with it. Ready to basically pre tap this. Now, if you had a tapping kit, that would be the easiest way to do it. And I do, but I can't remember. And I've done this actually quite a few times. I've made quite a few of these different mounts. You can put a couple of nuts on. So we're going to use a 6 mil, quarter inch. Tighten those up. If you tighten the bottom one against the top one, you can use that to drive it in there. So there we go, and we have something that you can actually mount to something else. Now, probably this is probably too long for the application I want because I've actually got this. Uh, just stick that onto any normal six mil adapter like that. There we go. So I'll stick this back on and we'll try and see what it's like. Obviously this nut is far too long for the application I'm on, so I'm probably going to take it back out and trim it down a bit. And there she goes, ready to mount it on anything you would like. Can we zoom in on this? Did you zoom in? Okay. Can you zoom in? Nice. Support your controller. So the idea is you kind of have it on your, next to your car or something. You have it flying on your car. You're on your own because you've got no friends like me. You can just go. Oh, 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 Tighten that up, it'll put some pretension in the screws to put thread in. It's very tightly threaded anyway because it's just that polycarbonate and when you screw it in it's actually making the thread itself. And you can you can take like this guy and put it on any anything you want. So this is just a cheap crappy suction mount. Get onto anything you want. I'm sure I recommend the suction mount, not very good. Like so. Ready to rock and roll. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty solid. I mean, prototype number one. But let me know what you think. It's, uh, it's pretty solid. It'll hold them, I and this only weighs a pound, maybe one, you know. Uh, they've done even weigh that. It weighs like 800 grams, I think, with the foam. 800 or 900 grams, so it's not much really, and this is uh, far more support. Stops it rotating, stops it, you know, takes all the weight off the USB. The USB just stops it coming off, really. It's just restraining it from popping off, and this sticky substance I've put onto it. So, yeah, let's see where this goes. I'm going to try it out tomorrow, maybe. See you in the next one.